Hello YouTubies, this is Joker Scrahab and thank you for watching one of my amazing and most audacious YouTube videos. So, even though I'm not religious, I would just like to ask the question, do you think that the two doves that were attacked by birds is a sign from God or from the Creator? You see, the seagull and the crow don't usually attack other birds, but they are birds of prey in themselves but they tend to eat fish and stuff like that, especially the seagull. It doesn't really go for other birds, so to speak. But for whatever reason, a seagull, a gull, and a crow went for the doves. And that had me thinking of something. You see, I was thinking, oh, okay, is this a sign from God? Because it's just such a strange occurrence that a gull attacks a dove, the first of that's released, and a crow attacks the next of that's released in succession, like that. And if you're looking for signs, you should look at that and think, if you're religious, what does that mean? Why would the All Creator do that? Then it had me thinking, what could it be? Could it be a message? Could it be that this is an attacking thing? You know, it's showing an attacking message. So, gull could be for gullible for instance, because that word rhymes pretty well. And English language is one of the most used language in the world. So gull, gullible. Makes sense, doesn't it? And then crow can be turned to crowd with a single D. So could it be that your all creator is calling you a gullible crowd that's going to be attacked by the people you are worshipping? The Pope? the Catholic Church, the Vatican, who are sitting in this palace somewhere on a big chair uh, in the name of God, but don't actually practice it. How do you know what's going on in the Vatican? And why would your God suddenly then drop a uh, gull on the Dove of Peace and a crow on the other one? Because it's calling you all a gullible crowd. That's what your God is saying. In other words, he's saying that you're all sheeple. And they are the shepherd. Yeah. So, if you don't want to be a gullible crowd, you've got to look outside the box. Who are the evil people in the world? Because it looks like all the poor people are now being attacked. And now suddenly we have a weird occurrence outside the Vatican. Where millions upon millions of people saw it. And that is a little bit strange. I have to admit, that is odd. That is very odd behavior. Now, there are some people who are saying other things, like it's, uh, you know, nature's way to get rid of lesser things. But I don't think that's true in a way. I think there's also something in it. If you are religious and you are seeing that, you have to question why, if God, if it's all God's will, would he send a gull to attack a dove and then a crow to attack the other dove both were released by the Pope is he calling the crowd who are waving their banners saying we love you Pope gullible crowd is he on the same side as that Pope because if he's disagreeing and sending birds to, to attack the doves that the Pope is releasing He's not agreeing with what the Pope is saying. And you've got a question now. Now I'm not religious, but that is odd. That is very, very strange behavior from doves uh, and, and other birds. Now, other birds can attack uh, doves, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they will. I just find it very odd. It's something interesting. And if you are religious, you should look at that and question the Vatican. Because the Vatican is the one place you wouldn't suspect the, let's say, the Antichrist to come from, is it? The Vatican is the one place that you put all your trust in. But as it says in the Bible, whatever you study, it will be the one place you least expect. It, who will say they do things in the name of God, but who don't? That's what your religion actually says. And it's so interesting now that you've got a sign from God himself. Now, as I said, I'm not religious, but me even being 
unreligious, so to speak, an atheist, find that very odd. And you should certainly question the moral compass of the Vatican, because they live in a rich place. They are rich. And if they are rich, they are keeping it away from people who really need help. They sit in a palace while they let other people suffer. They, they sit in a palace as kings. You've got to question their motives. That's what your God is actually saying. Just look at it. You tell me what else it could actually mean. If, if God is this all-powerful and he sends these creatures to do that, there has to be a reason for it. And any reason why I can see is that your God was calling you gullible crowd. Because that's how it would work. You know, the crowd is outside the Vatican, worshipping the Vatican, who they believe is doing things for the in the name of their God. But yet, they're doing everything. They're, they're, they're surviving in richness. Would Jesus accept that? Hasn't Jesus ever chucked people out of churches before? It shows you something's going on. I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.